In 1989, two scientists announced something that could have changed the world forever. They said they'd created cold fusion, limitless, clean energy from ordinary water. No radiation, no pollution, just power. Infinite power. Within hours, headlines exploded. The end of oil. Unlimited energy discovered. Investors poured in. Even the U.S. government got involved. It was the biggest scientific breakthrough of the century, or so it seemed. The scientists, Stanley Pons and Martin Fleischmann, claimed they had achieved nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun, but at room temperature. If it was true, it would have solved the global energy crisis overnight. Labs all over the world rushed to replicate it. But there was a problem. No one could. Their results didn't add up. Their data was inconsistent. And when questioned, Pons and Fleischmann grew defensive, even secretive. By summer, one conference at Caltech publicly dismantled their claims. It was brutal. Cold fusion, they said, was dead. But not everyone agreed. Some researchers insisted they'd seen strange results, excess heat, odd radiation spikes. Others believed the experiments were flawed, not fake. Then came the scandals. Accusations of fraud, missing data, legal threats. Pons eventually vanished from the public eye, living quietly in France. Fleischmann never gave up. Until his death in 2012, he still believed they'd been right. Today, cold fusion has become a punchline, shorthand for bad science. But a handful of researchers are still chasing it under a new name, LENR, or Low Energy Nuclear Reactions. And here's the twist. In 2023, the U.S. government quietly gave $10 million in funding to study it again. Because even after decades of failure, that dream of unlimited, clean power still hasn't died. So, what do you think? Was cold fusion the greatest scientific fraud of the century? Or a discovery buried before its time? Let me know your thoughts below, and follow for more stories where science, ambition, and obsession collide.